the water was about a little more than halfway up all those blocks for a while. Or all our vehicles were flooded out. Bob Seaboy, a, a boat mechanic at Hanson Boat track, Company, yeah. just along the Union Slough in Everett, is still in disbelief of what happened Tuesday morning around 9.45. There's been guys that have been worked here 20, 25, maybe 30 years. They say they've never seen it this high before. This was really a high tide combined with the rain and then combined with all the melt off from the snow we had. Seavoy says the water from Union Slough exceeded the six foot tall levees, resulting in flooding throughout the boat yard, including into the building. Some of the guys have been here a long time. They've never seen it in the building in the offices that deep. We probably had two inches of water up in the offices and stuff. Seavoy's experience is just one example of the weather impacting Snohomish County. Our goal is to get everybody to their destination safe, but that takes the people driving to do that as well. State Trooper Kelsey Harding says as of 2 o'clock Tuesday afternoon, the county had 29 calls for service for collisions, disabled or abandoned vehicles, and water over roadways. She says drivers are ignoring road close signs. You might be a great driver, you might have four wheel drive, but sometimes it's deep enough and it actually has a little bit of a flow that it will push your car and it doesn't matter what you have. You can have a heavy pickup and the stream can actually cause your vehicle to exit the roadway. Meanwhile, Seavoy says he'll be cautious on the roads, but says the sailor in him won't let this weather stop him from working. And State Patrol want to remind people to drive cautiously on the roads and to leave plenty of space between other vehicles. For now, live in Everett, Brady Wakayama, King 5 News.